All right, number 10. Given that the graph of f has a vertical asymptote at x equals 3, a horizontal and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 5, and an equation f of x is equal to the quantity ax squared plus 15x divided by the quantity x squared plus b, which of the following could be the values of the constants a and b? So let's first look here at our horizontal asymptote, our y equals 5. And we know if we have a horizontal asymptote, that means that our limit as x goes to one of our infinities, positive or negative, let's just make it positive infinity, of f of x must equal 5. If we had our graph here, we need to go off as we go out to positive and negative infinity on the x. We need to get closer and closer to at least on one of these sides the line y equals 5. And if we continue down this we'll bring in our function so this will be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of ax squared plus 15x divided by x squared plus b. And as we're going to infinity, or to negative infinity, so it works on both sides, as we're going out to infinity, the higher degree terms of these polynomials make a bigger and bigger difference. And so as we get close to infinity, the ax squared term on the top and the x squared term on the bottom make a very large difference. However, all of the smaller degree terms, all the other terms, make very, very little difference. And in this fraction here, we'll eventually make no difference if we get close enough to infinity. So we can cross off the rest of our terms. And as we get close to infinity, this will equal the limit as x goes to infinity of ax squared divided by x squared. And at this point, we can notice that we have an x squared on the top and x squared on the bottom, so we're, we'll just be left with a. But we already said our limit had to equal 5, so this limit has to equal 5. And this means that as x goes to infinity, we're, well, we're just left with a here. a must equal 5. From there, we can get rid of choices C, D, and E. Now, let's look into our vertical asymptote of x equals 3 to try to figure out what this value for B has to be. And a vertical asymptote of x equals 3 just means this vertical line at x equals 3 right here, as we get close to 3, from the right or the left, we need to go off to either positive or negative infinity from one of these sides. And there's only one way we can accomplish this with a rational expression like this, and that is we need to get the denominator equal to zero. So we'll take this denominator, x squared plus b, and we need this to equal 0 when x equals 3. So we can get our limit going off to infinity and get our vertical asymptote. And we can easily solve this by plugging in the 3, substitute in for the x, and then solving for b. So 3 squared gives me 9 and subtract it from both sides, subtract the 9 from both sides, we'll get that b has to equal negative 9. And that means our answer to this question is a, because we need a 5 for a to give me a horizontal asymptote at 5, and I need the negative 9 at b, so I got a 0 down here, which would cause 
our limits to go off to either positive or to negative infinity as we get um, as we get closer to x equals 3.